Let's talk about two similar but different arsenic compounds, orpiment and realgar. This is orpiment. It is an arsenic sulfide compound with the chemical formula AS3S3. It has historically many different uses, being largely produced for a paint pigment to create an incredibly bright yellow, as well as being used in fireworks to create different colored compounds and as an insecticide due to its toxic and poisonous properties. It contains arsenic, so especially when being used as a paint pigment when it had to be ground up into a very fine powder, it was easily aerosolized and caused quite a few problems when breathed in or came in contact with different mucous membranes such as the eyes or mouth. It was used in quite a few different famous artworks but was pretty much entirely retired once safer and less toxic yellows were formulated. Now this is Realgar. It is incredibly similar to Orpiment. It is also an arsenic sulfide compound. However, its chemical formula has one more of each the arsenic and sulfur atoms, so it is AS4S4. So it is different from Orpiment in the chemical formula and that it has a very bright red color instead of a bright yellow color, also earning it the name Ruby of Arsenic. As far as I'm aware, Ruby of Arsenic was not used to create paint pigments since there was other available things to make red, such as cinnabar, but it was still used in fireworks to make a, you guessed it, bright white color, not red, and also is still occasionally used in modern explosives, and was occasionally used as a cloth dye and a rat poison, again due to all of the arsenic. Both Orpiment and Realgar form in a somewhat similar way under similar conditions, often in hydrothermal vents, and in and around other volcanic active areas. Both of these compounds can often also be found around hot springs, however I don't think they are very water soluble, so I don't think there's any danger surrounding that. But either way, these two minerals are very pretty, but highly toxic, and were used in quite a lot of things before people knew quite exactly how toxic they were to humans.